Hello, boils and ghouls. No, it's boils and ghouls. That's what I said. This is our new segment called the Scream Team Show. Thrills and chills, movie news, and other shit. And the first topic, since we saw Insidious 2, and since we just reviewed Insidious 2, yep. we are going to talk about how it was kind of open for Insidious 3. Yep. And you know, James Wong's not making it. His friend that helps him make all the Insidious movies Lee and Wong. a lot of other movies is making it and writing it. So it's still going to be good. Hopefully. I, I have a feeling it will. Yeah, I do too. Hey, boom, 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 I really liked him. I, th- I swear at the end of Insidious 2, I heard the laughing and that noise he makes. I, I, one thing I heard that, that was like that is the... They did in the first one, the little finger. And that right face is like she saw something. That she's seen that before. She's like... I think she's like... Oh, my be? God. Yeah, she's like, oh, my God. And it's more than likely not the, uh, black, uh, the black Bride because that just happened. And if it's anything that she's saw in the past, it's probably the Red Demon from the first movie. Yeah. But, who knows? The guy that was a Black Bride could very well come back as a good spirit. And try to help her, because he's, he's still in uh, Further 2. Well, then, then why at the end of the movie does she feel she's, like, provoked... A, have a face of shock and all. Matthew, I Negative just said he can show all. up in the third one to help. Do you okay, not get that? Okay, don't need to talk like this. Okay. Oh, brotherly love. <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm professional. Shut as up. As I was saying. Actually, as Nate was saying, continue. I was saying the guy... From the second movie, he mm-hmm. could come back as a spirit and help, because he's still in the further astral plane, further thing. But just talking about the thing at the end of the movie, which is what we were talking about. We're pretty about, sure man. it's a Darth Maul looking motherfucker. <laughs> Hopefully movie. so. Hopefully so. That Darth Maul looking motherfucker. And we need to talk louder, because usually it's not record of voices that well. Huh. I don't know. Okay, just because... You know, Everyone! Okay, yeah, uh, no, don't, don't do that. That makes no sense. What are you talking about? Shut up! Just because we speak on his mean as speaking stupid accents. Alright, so are we done talking about Insidious 3 so far? Until I see you have any more take, Mitch? I'll have more take. Uh, you're going to have, uh, I think their name's Spix and Spex, I think? So, the I guy's last name is Spex. Spex. The other guy had like a normal name. Oh, uh, I forgot. Well, anyway, they're gonna be they're gonna be in the third one too. Don't forget them. And the girl, the woman that was in Insidious One, Two, the psychic woman, and it was also in Detroit Rock City. Uh, yeah, she's, Ten Thousand yeah. Maniacs, shit, little horror movies and comedies. Yeah, she's the she's I think she's the sister of uh, the new the own new online cinema. Uh, I think Bobby Shea, I think, something, something like that. And he, he's the one that kind of created Freddy Krueger. She was in that first one. She played a teacher in the movie. So, yeah, I think it's going to yep. be, be a awesome. great third movie. Now. Yes. Now. The new Robocop. Yep. What are your takes? Okay, okay. One thing I did not enjoy is why did they have to keep his colors? Why did they have to change his color scheme so much? If you remember the trailer... I think the black looks cool, but... Okay, number one, don't fucking interrupt me. 
Okay. Number one, you're wrong. Number one, opinion. No, that you're completely a, wrong because you didn't change the color screen. Color scheme. Don't it's change the color scheme. Black. No, Maddie, he's still silver in the movie. He has he's the a black, black costume on. Oh my God, he doesn't remember the trailer at all. Really? I told you, you need to watch the trailer again. Maddie, get over here in the camera. Number one. Number two, he has the black on for certain parts of the movie. Most of the movie, he's in his regular costume, cars. I would have known that, but watch the fucking trailer twice. You want me to tell you? Hey, the only thing I you know... You are my psychic. Hey, the only thing I know is that's Michael Keaton and I like him. That's one cool thing. There you go. Yeah, Batman's in it, so it's going to be good. Yeah. Not only Batman, Samuel motherfucking Jackson. He's probably like, I'm tired of all these motherfucking androids, uh, motherfucking task force, fucking all my motherfucking shit. I, I can see that. <laughs> but the funny thing is, he's a nerd scientist in this movie. <laughs> it's like it was in Jurassic Park. <laughs> like, hold on to your butts. Ashley, pretty much is. I hope he's like in Die Hard, the third Die Hard movie, or was it the second one? There's a third. The third one where he's kind of like kind of nerdy in the beginning and he kind of turns to a badass. I hope that yeah, happens. Yeah. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm tired of this shit. I want it over with. So I need to make that. And the name that'd be cool if it was like that in the normal cop. I do enjoy the changes that he has a son now, so it has emotional fucked upness in it. Just like in ZS2 with the old children dilemma. Yeah. And they're all about emotionally impacted. And it shows they try to reconnect with the son in the trailer. One thing I don't mean, oh, wait, sorry. One thing I don't like about it is the freaking that this PG-13 when Robocop, you know, it's gory and violent and crazy, and they turn it into a PG-13. Oh, just, that's like that's make... the only thing that just it's kind of like all right, look, the Total Recall movie, like it was okay, decent, but if it was though, if it was like the original and it was gory and it was crazier and a lot more, and you a know, buff close, actor, yeah, and a buff actor and everything, it would have been way better. And that just really pissed me off. They're just going for the teenage crowd. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover. I, I, mean, mean, I, I mean, that's thought... just that's just a disappointment. Other than that, it, it probably will be a good movie. I'm just saying that it maybe would maybe even be more amazing if it was rated R. Uh, that's kind of funny, but I just thought The Rock would actually make good in the Total Recall since he's kind of like this generation's Arnold, and he's the only really, really buff, popular guy. Yeah, he needs a, he needs, he's a good actor and all, but he's been in too many well, movies. Well, don't you remember how that. Arnold was when he was really popular? He was a shitload of movies at the time. Yeah, he made a movie or two a year. He didn't make five or six every year. Like every no, during the mid nineties, he was a shitload. He wasn't in that many. He wasn't a lot, wasn't he, Matthew? Yes. He, All right, he name was. ten of them then. That no. was the nineteen nineties. We don't want to. Jingle all the way. Hmm? Last action hero. Last action hero. The one where he's cloned. The one where he fights the devil. That was in, uh, the one where he cloned. That was like in two thousand one. Yeah, don't count. Nope. It was 2001, it don't count. Nope, because he was counts. running it's for two... governor then. And there's also... It wasn't governor 2003, 2004. Because the last uh, Terminator movie with him in it... 2003. Came right before that. It was 2003. So, uh, that don't, those don't count. But guess what? Uh, the, the Rock's been in six movies in just this year. And it's gonna be Hercules. It's gonna—he almost was gonna be Johnny Bravo. He's like every single character. Actually, he's almost gonna be Johnny Bravo days. like five, six, seven, and now, eight now years ago. Not, now he's adding the Terminator now, like for the new one. It's just like, ugh. Just no, because they all already signed contract for that movie. Yeah, well, that's why he's saying he wants to be in, and uh, they're not sure how they're gonna do it yet. So. No, nope. you looked at Maddie, and it came up. Talked about the yes. movie where just Arnold yeah, in it right. as Terminator. Well, I read somewhere that it said that Arnold was just gonna be part of it, and there's actually gonna be a new Terminator. Is that to someone from the fight? Obviously. Now, now at the beginning, at the beginning when the first stages when it was announced, they said it was, but then now they actually changed their minds, and they they might have someone else newer. What are you saying? He's gonna have like a fucking. And the Rock uh, is eyeing the role. Looks like he's gonna be eyeing. He's gonna be Hercules. And after ten freaking. No, movies, he's not eyeing Hercules. He's already filming I know, it. I know. I know. I kind of corrected myself there. But I'm saying. But that's the point. I don't want to see him every. Hold movie. on. I'm saying it seems like so, from what you said, he's that Arnold's gonna be mentoring him pretty much in that movie. If they make the Terminator like that. Doesn't matter. It, it's, like he's gonna be the new good Terminator, or always be the older one. You don't need to be in every single freaking movie known to man. Every single adaptation of something else that has a big dude in it. He doesn't have to be always in it. There's not that many big muscular dudes that are good actors right uh, now. There's though. a lot of muscular actors. There's a lot of a lot of UFC fighters that I've seen in a lot of movies. 
There's a lot of freaking... Batista could have actually probably been able to Rock Recall 2 if he was actually, actually proper yes, actor. That's, that's what I'm saying. Batista, There's yeah, a lot of big actors. But lot he's lot too big. Choice. He's technically the way the taller than Arnold Schwarzenegger is. But, uh, but The Rock's always... I mean, actually, Rock is... He doesn't even have to be, like, a big dude, like, you know, for a role. He just randomly is in a new movie in some adaptation. And that character, the original character, wasn't even that big to begin with. Well, like, we play a black guy when you can barely tell he's even mixed black at all. It's just, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just yeah. saying that he just, I mean, he don't need to be every single role. So, that's, so, thank, so I hope to God that doesn't happen. Let me pick myself half black, half Samoan. And the thing is... His, he is a good actor, though. Yes, the reason he's Rock good actor, so many, I like him. The reason Rock is in so many movies is that he's popular. He's a he good actor. He makes money. And he's a good actor. And that's it. That's it. That's really it. Oh, he's even good in the new Fast and Furious movie. I the last one. Seen that. It's just like throwing in and just act to him in every single movie. It's just like, oh, it's just going to make money just because he's in it. I do believe there are that's, getting... that's Yeah. I do believe there are. It's like hearing a song over and over. Yes. But it's the different song. Because when I was That's, watching. Okay. It's hearing, you hear, it's hearing a different song with yeah. the same singer. But, see, when, but when I watch a movie sometimes, I want to see different actors, new actors, and new upcoming actors that can act it out. I don't want to see some one guy appearing in like a thousand movies when, like, even Johnny Depp appears in like one or two every year. This guy's in like five or six every year. But it's you, just like dang. But just like a like a band though, you like to listen to one band over and over a lot too. Yeah. This is different songs, pretty much. This is different songs by him. Just, different was, songs with the same. Scene, different like roles. Yeah, but after six movies a year, and then Bob. Tobias, as long as the roles aren't too much of the same. They are too much. And he plays the same character in every freaking movie. Hercules I mean, is a lot different than what he was doing. Yeah, well, we have to wait and see. Too much. I mean, last yeah. movie he did, he was a gay thug. A, a gay bodybuilding thug. Yeah, but he was still. I seen Pain and Gain. He was still goofy like he always is. He was still all oh, big and buff, and I'm kind of. Arnold always yeah, acted pretty much the same at one point. Not really, no. Yeah, he did. Oh yes, Look, he did. I cannot compare Arnold to The Rock. Arnold was legendary, and The Rock isn't. So. Well, The Rock's gonna end up being legendary when he's like 50 or 70. When the Arnold is, is 60, he will. Legend. And he's a, he's not a legend. Tell that to every single goddamn wrestling fan on the face of yeah, the oh, planet. I'm, I'm, and wrestling, yeah, not wrestling. movies. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. He's but when he's, if the way he's going, not... when he's like 65, he's going to be kind of legendary. He will when he is Arnold's it. way, yes, he will. He's some fad that's gone away. If he no, he will not this... still be going from all the way from 2000s to now. He he's won. at Scorpion King. He was popular. All the way now. Do not lose popularity at all. Yeah, but when he's, he's got going more popular all my childhood movies, I'm eventually just gonna just, just well, like, stop what, watching what, movies. What, all what movies he ruin? Movies. Huh? What childhood movies? Yeah, what do you ruin? <laughs> yeah. Um, what? what do you ruin? Nothing. Well, he almost ruined Johnny Bravo. I've been waiting for the Rock to play Johnny Bravo. He does not to be Johnny fucking Bravo. Who couldn't play Johnny Bravo? I don't care. Just See, you don't fucking know. Just as, long, as long as it's a good director and it's funny, that's all I care. Yes, as long as you keep the spirit of Johnny Bravo. It's just like him being in that Tooth Fairy movie. Oh, he's a Tooth Fairy too? I mean, dang, next time he's going to be a big, tall Santa Claus in the next movie. Uh, I, no, that's Goldberg. <laughs> the day Bill Goldberg does something out, if this is the day of fucking goings and fly to Matty, he did play Santa Claus. But he only played an evil Santa Claus. It's still Santa it's Claus. Alright, alright. But he or wasn't Satan. a tooth fairy. He was a tooth fairy. It was Satan Claus. Yeah. But... Oh, crap, that's full. No, that's not Santa Claus. And now Santa. we need to talk about yeah, what we, Sinister what? Yeah. 2. two. Well, you know most about Mitch. You know what's, uh, yeah. they're talking about how they're going to make it, so... Well, all I know is it's going to have the same yeah. writer... And the director of the first one is definitely writing it with the original writer from the first one. And he might direct it if his schedule comes up. Alright. And one thing I really can't wait, to ho I hope they do, is two things. Or one thing. I hope they bring uh, Vincent D'Onofrio Onof or whatever uh, as the professor from on the you know on the video that Ethan Hawke was talking to. And the, fun and the funny sheriff from the first one. I hope they bring them back, those characters back from that on that one, and those, that's the only thing like I hope this movie does for um, now. Okay, what I really want to see is I really want to see, okay, all three of us can just, we want to see Bagul actually 
doing things. Yeah, not yeah, just take yeah, control yeah, of kids. Yeah. You want him not to show images and looking at you. You want him to actually pop out and fucking grab you, fucking attack you. Yeah, like maybe grab you through a freaking screen or something. Uh, like 3D. See, I get it that they're trying to... Okay, the image of a goal is scary, and I get that. But throughout the entire movie, you said that one scary thing over and over and over and no variation, it gets old and not scary. Uh, if he actually the, popped the out and was walking that, around the, out. The kids in the movie are scarier than the movie himself. And every time I think of that, I think of that Honey Boo Boo thing from the last scary movie. He's like, Honey Boo Boo Child! Which I really didn't like. I couldn't even watch. It's Me and Mitch love the uh, scary movie. It's funny as hell, especially the Evil Dead laugh. part. The Evil Dead part's really, funny. Really, it's, just, it's really, it's, it's just me. Every single like, movie. You have to like really crappy comedy. <laughs> Every single scary movie made me laugh, except for the new one. Maddie, get funny. the video more. What? Get the video more. <laughs> well, like, uh, well another thing about Sinister 2 that I hope they do um, is uh, Bagul needs to do, do, you know, what they were saying earlier. He needs to do something really cool. And I think him, like, grabbing through an image, like, grabbing through an image and grabbing people. Or or even using his, like, kid minions to actually, instead of, like, just having them... A little evil off. army. Well, yeah. And another thing is, alright, the first one you had to set up, it was pretty much a mystery. You didn't know what this guy was. You did, you, you eventually, the ending, you find out his kid's doing it, blah, 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 blah. We got that. Now, the second movie, since you know, since you need, since you already saw that, you don't need to go through any of that anymore. You should expand the mythology, do something different, maybe add a backstory to it, and that would make it a whole lot better. And whatever, whatever they do, they should not have the same old tapes in the attic bit from the last movie. Yeah. I get that's yeah. what gets introduced, but it would just be repetitive. And let's hope they make more, like, crazy, creepy videos, you know, how a serial killer kills people with the children. That'd be, I hope they do something like just way more, way Just make it a different way where... Oh, it'd yeah, be cool if there was... A seal killer that had a child like mine he took control of. That'd be cool, too. Or he actually took possession of them. As, uh, and tried to bring himself to the real world. Or, or, well, I don't know, this just came on top of my head. Like, alright, let's just say, Bagul, you know, he always goes after a little child. Well, let's just say, like, this child is, like, so badass that he's like, fuck you, Bagul, you can't do nothing to me. And it's like a square off between Bagul and his little kid. I think that would actually be pretty little Halloween kid. Halloween style? Halloween style. No, 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 no the Halloween. little kid, like, 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 just the kid, like, in his, like, he, he's trying to get the kid to, like, possess him and all that stuff. But, you I mean, know, he's trying to possess the kid. It, yeah, but this yeah. kid's badass, and he's like, fuck you, I, you're not gonna do anything to me. And the dad and everybody else is just, like, who's playing the village is just stupid, unsuspicious, and this, and this scary kid's home, like, it'd be scary home alone. Yeah, because I like movies like that when the ch when some child like, goes against some you know great big obstacle. I don't know why I like that so much. I just I just saw Bagul stepping through the house in Dark Knight and stepping on it and stepping on a rake and it hit him in the face. <laughs> a rake with a cross on it. Mm -hmm. It covered like... cover no water. No, do It fucking melts. Um, well, as well, as I was saying earlier, was that. They, they do need to have the tapes in the sword, but they do have them be discovered a different way by the person who gets Bagul's wrath, essentially. Yeah. Something besides the attic. Yeah. Now, Not the basement, because that's too fucking obvious. Now let's talk about Army of Darkness. Oh, to, yeah, Army of Darkness, too. Well, it's anticipated. Well, for oh, us, yeah. definitely one of the most anticipated I action check, horror I movies. Every time I wake up in the morning, I wake up, I go to Google News, I type it. Sam Raimi or Army of Darkness 2 every single day, hoping that maybe one day they'll be like, script's ready, it's ready to go, it's time to watch the movie. Next year or two, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. That is the definition of fanboyism. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> it's not bad fanboyism, it's good fanboyism. And like him, I am very, very, very excited for this. Very, very, very when I heard yeah. Sam Raimi actually announced, he actually officially announced oh, yeah, he was planning on making it, I nerdgasmed. Oh, yeah, I know. I was, I like, was, I was like, jizz yeah! in my pants. I jizzed <laughs> in my pants. Oh, my God, oh, So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how I was like. Jizzed in your pants. That's it. That's it. But, yeah, I mean, it's just seeing Bruce Campbell in a big movie again. You know, chains off the yeah. people. Yeah. He's like, holy shit. Yeah, he's like, like maybe it's like a kid's in the movie, like the new like batch of people. He's like, man, you, you kids don't know anything about fighting evil dead, I do. 
You know, having something like that showing these little kids. Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, what are you going to do, ex- old man? Ex- ex- school on these, like, young-ass punks. Well, it's really just that girl alive, remember? <laughs> yeah, um... We're Maybe, just, what if that's his girlfriend? She's like, oh, I like older guys now. We're just throwing this idea out there, but we think it'd be awesome if... It was some, like the game. Like, the, Evil Dead, the, Fistful the, of... Boomstick. And I re... This is another idea. I'd really enjoy if they were to make a animated series based off the comic books. If you haven't read the comic books, shame on you. I've never read the comic book. Poor pathetic bastards. No, shame on me. <clears throat> shame on me. Wait, 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 wait. All right. But you did play right, the wait, game. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. All right. There you go. But you did play the game. So you yeah. can pat yourself in the back I'll of play, that. I played it for five minutes. I beat the game. Do you play the last game? Generation. No. But Generation wasn't as good oh, as. Oh, it had way better comedy. And it was a little, oh, just as good in certain ways. Little, little yeah. thingy. The, the, the reviews weren't as good as They it. should definitely have a half good, half evil Deadite in the next one. That'd be hilarious. And actually have well, Ted Raimi play him. Well, I want to see. Oh, this... Ted Raimi playing like as a midget, and Ted Raimi over voices it just like in the Labyrinth movie with the midget. Well, I want to see as a first person Army Darkness game. If you think, think about it for five seconds. Oh, We're talking about a movie, though, buddy. Yeah. Well, then, then it kind of went into video games. Not that much, though. We're talking about ideas for the next movie. Yeah. You, we're yeah. saying I, that... Then we, Jimmy started talking about the video games, though. What we're saying we're is time, the next Our Darkness movie should have it like the video, ga- video game, Fistful Boomstick, where Ash came back from, came back from the Our Darkness movie at the, after the end, where he's in the convenience store, going to a bar, getting a drink, and then he watches a show, and these people found an economic on, and they start playing the guy's thing because they just discovered it from the cabin, and so they start Pretty playing much. it, trying to figure out what happened, and it gets played throughout the whole town, and the whole town becomes full of deadites almost. That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, just like the yeah. Or I mean, it doesn't really have to exactly happen like that. But, like, in a way where, like, eventually the whole city somehow gets possessed by the demons, that'd be freaking I, mean, awesome. I could just see, like, he's staying at the bar, and next thing you know, the bar, like, so people start to be deadites, and he, like, takes his glass and goes, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> and it starts killing them and coming out of the bar, trying to get the fuck out of there so he gets some weapons. The ash fighting while drunk. And he has to that'd bre- be hilarious. And he has to break into S-Mart to get some weapons. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing... Well, well, you'll go in. I, I gotta think about it for a second. And he still has his robotic hand, so he, he can see a dad. He can like go, and their face just goes inside their like inside their head. What up? And it needs to be really gory, over the top, and it's funny, but still a little creepy. And Ash just being oh, a badass. I don't know what I was gonna say. Like, all right, in Evil Dead Two, uh, like how the trees were moving. And, like, how, like, just, like, there's all this supernatural stuff going on other than just demons. And, like, actually, like, weird stuff. Ghosts. Well, there's ghouls. still a demon stuff. Yeah, but... I know, but there's actually ghosts and ghouls and, like, ghost trees, like, or trees that, like, move by themselves and have faces on them. And, monsters, and I hope they somehow almost add, like, a, like, almost, like, a kind of a, just kind of creepiness to it. And kind of have really cool cinematography and just be, like... It's like a really cool movie, classic and like, and, shots. yeah, and just yeah. do, yeah, classic same Remy shots. Just have like, just I mean, I just this vision in my head. I mean, it's just, oh, it's just it would be so cool if it was like. That. I can actually see the try to bring back Evil Ash again yeah. somehow, yeah. just like they did for Evil Dead Two. Evil Ash is technically in it. Army Darkness yeah. Evil Ash is a big part in it, yeah. and a third one he could come back somehow because that the demon never really dies. He's a fucking demon. Yeah. So he'll come back somehow. What? Okay, I'm going to add this. I'm going to add this because I'm can I can. I'm really happy that you actually said the entire name of the game because there are three Evil Dead games: one on the PS1, one yeah. on the PS2, and Xbox, and the third one is on the Xbox yeah. and PS2. Also, the first one, on PlayStation One, sucked ass. Well, the third one, Regeneration, was mediocre, but the second no, one. No, had the best. The last one still had the best comedy though. End of this comedy, but Especially I since you start game out for gameplay, not to laugh. Actually, the gameplay, they try to add new stuff to it, but it still had some of the stuff from the fir- from a fistful boomstick, and it was more nostalgic. They actually start on the cabin. That was better. You wake up, you start on the fucking cabin. But still, 
game wise and ash going to a mental asylum yeah the game wise the gameplay of the game is actually more fluid and easier to actually play because fistful boomstick you can barely play it very well and you die too hard it's too easy to die i beat the game easily with one hand to high my fucking back. Matthew, you're full of shit. If we had to look at a way to beat a certain demon in the beginning of the game. Uh, that was when I was younger. I played it like two years later. I went for like a piece of fucking cherry cheesecake with whipped cream on top. Uh huh. It's easy. Uh huh. It really is. And last but not least, we're going to talk about, since it was Friday the 13th not too long ago, we're going to talk about the next Jason movie. Next Friday the 13th. Uh-huh. Which, I'm happy they're still talking about keeping the big hulky motherfucker from the last remake. Yeah. Because, Derek Mears. so far, technique wise, he was the best Jason. I know yeah. a lot of people that love Kane Hodder, but that guy, I mean, he kind of fucking looks like Jason without anything on. Well, he's, this, oh, go ahead. he's kind of like almost seven foot tall, all muscle, kind of yellowish skin, no eyebrows, completely bald. Weird looking motherfucker. And just to, just to point out, Kane Harder was not in the first six Friday the 13th movies. And those were the best. So just keep that in mind. I got nothing. You got nothing? Yeah. All right, Although well, the other ones were good. And I do like Kane Harder, how he acts as Jason. Because I like how he moves his head and his whole body follows. But. But the first six, like I just watched, The new guy was just the creepiest Jason. He just seemed like. A fucking shark on land. He just had this yeah, extinctive then, kill to him, but he was yeah. not super super stupid either. He was had this kind of instinct to know yeah, what to do yeah, about yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. I understand what you're saying. I heard about reviews. And so stuff kind of like he was that. scarier than what he was before because he was a total idiot. Yeah. Well, well. See, when you watch the old ones, like he actually like all right. Pretty much, I think everybody just like everybody thinks Kane Harden is the main Jason to play Jason in every single movie. I think like people assume that Jason is really stupid. But he was really just mainly stupid in the last, like, on the seven, the ones with Kane Hodder in it. In the other ones, he actually was running around. He was kind of smart, and he did some crazy stuff. And he stuff. ran around. He wasn't yeah. just slow walking. He yes. fucking ran. And he was alive, not dead. And you could hurt him. And he actually... Until the sixth yeah. movie that was yeah. one of the best movies. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I do think I do think it was kind of funny, though, on the last Friday 13th movie, the remake, how Jason shot a boner out someone. See, like, that yeah. kind of makes sense, though, because how else would he survive in the woods that long? He had a fucking, uh, like, camper thing he was living in that's all fucked up looking. Yeah, I know. Another thing is he was a little, uh, he was uh, 10 or whatever. Like, just think, a little 10-year-old boy is kind of dumb and retarded, you know, and, like, you know, living in the woods. Like, how did he just not get eaten by freaking coyotes or something the first day he was out there running amok in the woods, <laughs> you know? So he had to learn yeah. how to survive. Plus, it, actually, I was watching the third one the other day, and he shot this, like, this, like, a, this little thing out of this, like, tube or something to this chick, and it was, like, it was, like, electrical, and he aimed it right at her eyeball and hit her right in the face. Oh. Like, like, he, he did that in the third one. I mean, that shows he had skill even in those movies. Yeah, because I think he looked, like, he looked grotesque, and he may not knew certain things. But he was still kind of smart. Yeah, he was still kind of smart. But like I said before, the Kane Hodder ones, he came stupid. And that's that's where people, for some reason, it's kind of like like, uh, Luke Skywalker, Luke, I'm your father. It's like, that's not exactly what he said. He said something else, but that's what caught on. And for some reason, that's what caught on on Friday the 13th. Everybody, you know, somehow calling that Kane Hodder's version is the definite, is the main, awesome, cr- coolest version. I mean, he played the most straight through. Yeah, but that does. But, and also, it was really cool uh, how he did the whole thing, and the, the being bad killing was cool. Yeah. And he was one of the best that had played Jason, but the best is the last guy, because... I mean, he just re- represented exactly what Jason is. He is a killer on land. He's not super stupid. He's kind of smart. And he's just a big motherfucker. That's what he's supposed to be. A big motherfucker that's almost supernaturally strong. Yeah, well, th- I mean, in the other ones, he uh, was kind of more... Like, especially the second one, when, like... Because they kind of didn't really say it was Jason at first. And it's kind of like, eventually, you find out it is him. You run muck. And, like, it's just... Um, oh, just go ahead. I forgot. I mean, it was so re- he's so realistic looking. They actually show his real muscles through his shirt. You can see his abs. 
Oh yeah, he was uh he was it was more in the shadows in the second one too, and it kind of just popped up. That's and then eventually start like kind of just you know kind of just showing him just walking around, actually him moving around to like the later one, and kind of lost that suspense a little bit, but add more of a a more brutal version of him. Because they did kind of uh like in the second one, he just kind of had that a beard and stuff. Like he has been living in the woods for a long time. Like, it kind of shows that. Yeah. That's why you'd have a beard and everything. But it's weird, because in the next movies, he has no beard. <laughs> yeah. So, it, like, just disappears. Like, oh, Jay Stone's has shaved now? Uh, I know he's not completely stupid, but... Yeah, he's, 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 he's like... He's like... Uh, this uh, mask like this. Uh, no, he's like... <sighs> some, like... Some, like, camp... <coughs> some, like, person from camp auction. And then he, like, realizes it's Friday the 14th. He's like... <sighs> <laughs> But if you really think about it, I mean, I think two, well, well, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it was either between, yeah, three and four, I think, happens in a two-day difference. Interval. Interval. So, technically, one of them is not even on the 13th. Yeah. <laughs> well, who says Jason only killed yeah, on the 13th? No one really said that. People <laughs> just speculate that and that started. But one thing about the rem- or the sequel to the remake is, I wonder what direction they're going to go with it. Like, are they going to go with the Some, same direction? Something new, hopefully. They'll probably yeah. go a little bit the same direction, but follow a little bit of the story for the second one. Like, they'll probably have... I think, I think it should be like, what if he went, like, he actually goes to a city this time. And actually, just, you know, actually goes to Manhattan for real this time. Or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think, you think that would be a good idea? Well, the thing is, Cause it's, it's all suburban and modern. And compared to, like, something like the forest, where it's... Deep dirt in the street, reducing him from around like three motherfucking kill people. Like he was, he got like a sore thumb. Yeah, yeah. Cause see, it's just like, like see, we can talk about the old movies as much as we want, but you know, the first, the see, the remakes started a whole, or the remake started a whole new franchise. Uh, franchise. Much. So, so we kind of know it kind of goes with kind of a realistic Jason. So you know, like and they are kind of following yeah. the story from the first two yeah. movies because. Yeah. The remake was pretty much the first second combined. Yeah. Well, it's the third technically too because he has his mask. Yeah. So, what's the next? Like, how's it gonna take if they already kind of combined the first three movies? Yeah. Are they just gonna go? I hope they all go for it's like, oh, Jason's not re- it's not Jason. There's mm-hmm. just some killer cool like Jason. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, and and another thing is like, like he got like in the remake he got his face kind of crushed by. Or by something like a chain around his neck and it pulled him into some water or something, like a boat or something. Is that what it did to him? I don't know. I actually, I, he didn't die. They but actually I mean, showed him. I don't know. He didn't really die, but he, he supposed how the people thought he died. Like, that's the, he's like Michael Myers. He looks like he died. Even when he's supposed to be human, yeah. he looks like he died yeah. and he still comes back. But see, when I watched the first one or the remake, I kind of was like, well, actually, he gets someone could survive that, actually. Especially someone like him, so I guess that would actually work. Cause I'm actually surprised that they didn't kill him better than that. But especially how many times we've seen him die in the remakes. Like if, uh, like okay, let's just say if they did the second one and they make him supernatural and all of a sudden, like you could stab him and he gets hurt, that's gonna be so pointless. Because in the first one, he wasn't really like he didn't die like to the point where like he was no way gonna be able to get up again. And then they were supernatural in the second one. But so I think... hope they don't do that. Cause that cause they should follow with what the first one was doing and lead to the second one. And I think they should go in a different direction. And uh, I, I don't know who they should have continue. Maybe they have the same actor oh. again. He used to be right when I finish. Go on. I was I'm actually done. talking. I'm he done. started. I'm I was still done. talking. Okay, then go on. Well, I'm just talking. It's, it's rude to interrupt someone interrupting you, you know. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay, go on then. What I'm saying is, I don't think they're in a complete hurry. Like, they seem like they were playing the first three movies. Maybe the one will have him versus a child, just like in the fourth movie, or is it the fifth one? Fourth. The fourth movie will have him That's versus a, have him versus a child in it, and maybe they'll just skip the one where it's not Jason and the lead into where it shows the child's adult later on, and somehow Jason well, comes back. Well, I they might combine those that together. That might be a good idea, but at the same time, we don't want to know. I mean, the remake had to, you know, kind of it was a remake, so it had to retread a little bit. So the new one shouldn't have to retread. I think they should go to a different route. Maybe they should maybe maybe have a totally new kid, yeah, and maybe in a different way, in a, di- the, a, a different presentation, maybe. Be cool if it's the same name though, like kind of have like kind of reference to the old one. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, 
Jason knows so much to be supernatural, they're gonna eventually do it. Yeah, but as long as you know, as well, as long as it's not completely like his head's chopped off or something like that, he's not completely dead. Uh, just with his like kit, like right here, then I'm like, yeah, it went through his brain. He's just gonna die. But he's dumber than a rock, so maybe you know his brain. He don't really have a brain. So when it hits him in the head, and his head's so big and his skull so big, it didn't actually cut to the brain. But part it was probably so I show him so. being buried and it comes back or something. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I never thought one of the older movies. Why the fuck they bury Jason? If he's just killer and everything, why the fuck they even bury him? Well, it's because in the fourth up. one, freaking Tommy Jarvis cut the shit out of him to where he fucking there's no fucking way he was gonna start moving again. Well, they're like, oh, we don't know who the fuck this is, so let's bury him. But it said Jason Voorhees on it, the tombstone, didn't it? Yeah. So bury why would someone bury him? Well, I mean, he was dead. I mean, uh, do people bury serial killers like very well? No. So. <laughs> yeah, he pretty much was already dead. Just the lightning bolt, Frankenstein style, woke him up. I'm saying though, he had his own gravestone, like people were honoring him. Well, yeah, that was his. Uh, I think his dad. His dad. There was. A, they mentioned his dad in the sixth one actually. There's a mention of him, and he was actually might. There was actually going to be a scene where he was going to actually meet his dad. Like yeah, something like that. Because yeah. actually, well, like, actually, I think what I read yeah. that yeah. guy who the guy who's actually worse than the graveyard thing was supposed to kind of like be his dad. No, what's well, it? I was okay. Look, uh, I got the my friend just gave me the Friday Thirteen One Through Eight, and I had number six as the, under the deluxe version, and they actually had a drawn animation part where it actually shows a scene what they were going to have in the movie with his dad actually popping up to his gravestone. So actually, there's actually there, I think there was actually it was actually a scene cut out of it, and they couldn't find it or something like that. So they had to storyboard it, and they actually showed how it would actually happen. So, was, but they actually do mention his dad. His dad's the one that paid for it. So that's why he has a tombstone. Mm. You guys seem to have a pretty solid grip on this. So. All right. Well, this is a screen team show. Yep. You guys all have a good night, y'all. Y'all. You guys have a good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> yuck, yuck. Remember, stay creepy. Stay creepy. All right. It's the screen team. Out. Shine.